Hey friends, welcome back to the Renewed Homestead. What we were gonna show you, that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> nope. <laughs> friends, Ben, Denise, cows, lots of cows. Isn't that a beautiful sight? Dolly says, yes, I'm a beautiful girl. Well, yesterday, Denise saw this patchy stuff on Dolly's neck. And now when we first got her, our neighbors had their horses over here. And they were, having, they were fighting kind of a rashy... Uh, I think it may have been sweet itch. Sweet itch or maybe mange. I don't know exactly, yeah. but it looked like she had it. And so, you know, we weren't sure. So Denise posted it to the community, which... You know what? Well, we should start when we first got her. Well, okay, yeah. Let's, let's start. So um, when we first got her, um, we had borrowed a halter from a friend. And after the first couple of times of putting the halter on, she got a little rashy thing that kind of looked similar to what yeah. his horses had. So we weren't sure if it was the halter or what. So I was actually able to treat it within about three days. It was gone. So when I came out here yesterday and saw, on the back, saw that on the back of her neck, I was like, is this the same thing? Is this different? Yeah. But so I posted it to a couple of communities, well, about four communities on Facebook, at Facebook asking if anybody knew what this was. That's, that's the great thing about a small town, yes. kind of a homestead, smaller community, because we got all kinds of responses. Sirloin, Sirloin. you can't even do that. You're a steer. Yeah, <laughs> so. he, he's missing part of the equipment to do that. Yes. But so we got lots of responses, which is great. You know, everything. And we from, appreciate all those what, responses because people are trying to help. That's right. That's right. As would we if we had an answer for you. Exactly. And so, you know, mange, lice, um, you know, people talked about sweet itch, um, but I don't think cows can get that. Um, I might be wrong, but I couldn't find anything online about it. Um, some people were saying that it's a vitamin A deficiency, which I don't think so because they're on a great mineral program. But almost every single response was treat her with ivermectin. So we didn't know exactly what it was. And we can do a scraping and take it to the vet. But every, almost everybody, there was one person that offered us a natural solution if it was a mange or a lice issue. Right. But everybody suggested ivermectin. Um, and we, as y'all know, we don't want to use chemicals and we want to just kind of explain why, uh, just a couple of reasons why we don't want to use chemicals. Now, if we have an animal suffering, we're going to take them to the vet and get them help if we need to. As you know, one of the sheep that we bought a couple of months ago, we got her here and she got horrible mastitis. She almost died. We took her to the vet. We did give her antibiotics. Sirloin. He's getting big. He is getting big. We did give her antibiotics and we pulled her through it. So we're not going to let an animal suffer. No. But we, our first option is not going to be chemicals or antibiotics right away. Right. And That's... the first time we were able to treat this and I kind of just, yeah, I kind of just was like, okay, well, I know these things are good for skin conditions. So let's try it. So let's try it. So the first thing we did when she got here, we put silver on it. And the reason we put silver on it is because it's a really good antimicrobial um, and it's a natural antimicrobial, antimicrobial. So if there's any bad bacteria, it was going to help clean that. Uh, it also sanitizes. Yeah. And then next our little labels off, but this is Comfrey Plantain Salve. Now we've done a video on Comfrey. We've also done a video on Plantain. What I like to say, Plantain's got some healing properties as well, but Comfrey's got a little bit more of that Allantoin in it, which is going to go deep into the tissues and heal. It even heals bone. So the stuff's incredible. So I do the Comfrey for more of the healing, and then I do the Plantain for its soothing benefits on the skin. Um, so we grabbed the Comfrey Plantain, and that's what we did with her um, the first time. And At then, which, by the way, you can is available on renewedhomestead.com. It is forward slash shop. Yes, and you can get your deodorant and your hori hori knife <laughs> while you're there. You're all set for the fall and for Christmas. Yes. All right. Shame, and then, shameless plug. And then the third thing, this is baking soda. Now, um, the reason I use baking soda is if there's any kind of pH imbalance on the skin, it's going to help neutralize that. Um, and just kind of help bring her, oops, the pH balance in her skin back. 
So this actually, within three days, her face was cleaned. I, I think it was actually two. Yeah, it was it, quick. It cleared up very quickly. So we were like, okay, well, we don't exactly know what this is. So let's come out. We're going to try it. And we were hoping we could just put this on her. We put some... Um, Bribery. Uh, yeah, five-way scratch down for them, some seeds and stuff so they could you know, keep her occupied while we tried to do it. We brought the rope in case she was being a little bit stubborn. She rope, is a Jersey. Please. It's a lasso, please. Oh. Obviously you are mistaken. So sorry, a lasso. Know. But, so we got out here and it's cleared off. Yeah, it on, on its own. So <laughs> yeah. I don't know, it was probably just a, a simple skin irritation from a plant. But that's the Thankfully, I mean, that's awesome. Right? Yeah, that, that's the beauty of <laughs> The mineral that we give them for one well you can see it yeah that's that's the uh cafeteria the, the, style. the cafeteria style min, uh, mineral a la carte but they get what they need so if things do if they do get ailments they can heal much quicker now i'm not saying that's the only reason that that rash went away but it can certainly help well uh, and I, we were happy to see that because we didn't have to do anything but the reason we go, don't go straight to chemicals um, are really a few different reasons. One, um, it's going to create superbugs. So every time you use that chemical, um, so let's talk about, you know, just as an example, um, parasites that the internal worms that cows, sheep, and goats get, um, or even mites that bees get. So when we, the first chemicals came out, they worked really well. Well, usually within about 15 to 20 years, those pests develop a resistance to it and then the chemical has to get stronger and we see the cycle play out and we've seen this with bees that a lot of the treatments you have to treat over and over and over again for the mites and the parasites just like we did with our nubian goats that we were struggling with we were constantly worming and they just were so the parasites were so resistant to it that even our vet was like hey um you know, don't worm if you don't have to. Like even vets are starting to tell people this. So they develop um, a resistance to it. And then we create these super bugs that are resistant to all of the chemicals and then it makes them stronger and then it makes the beneficial bugs weaker. Well, and, that, and that's what the that's what the vet was saying, that they were losing a lot of animals this year because the bugs have become so resistant to any of the, the chemicals, they've not been able to save them. So. Mm -hmm. But yeah, they, you, then you've got your, uh, what do they, what they call it? Unintended uh, kills, the beneficials, the- Oh yeah. The uh, peripherals. Well, I'm, I'm not sure the, but that's what, yeah. so, so that's the other issue. So if we put ivermectin on the back of Dolly, I was saying if, if you have to treat, you have to treat. Yeah. We're just explaining why that's not the first thing we go to. Um, if we had put ivermectin on her and that washed off, that's going to get into the soil. And not only is that going to kill the beneficial insects within the soil, but it also um, harms and hurts the insects above. So like in Europe right now, um, they are facing an extinction of dung beetles because of all the chemicals that are in the poop of the animals because of the wormers and everything they're getting. And, you know, we might not think of dung beetles as, you know, this glamorous thing, but they are essential to the ecosystem and many of them are dying because of the chemicals that are in the cow's poop. So not only does it harm the beneficial insects within the soil, but it also harms above the soil. And so we just, we don't want to be a part of that, that destructive cycle. Um, so that's why we try to do as much naturally as we possibly can. Like I said, we took in that one sheep and we got her antibiotics because she needed them. We're not gonna let an animal suffer, but uh, sirloin. He's getting big. He is getting big. <laughs> but. So that's, you know, yeah. so that's really kind of why yeah. we don't want to create these super bugs. We don't want to harm the um, beneficial insects and, uh, you know, and, and other life within the ecosystem. But as we say frequently, we don't know what we don't know. So if we grew up, hey, you treat it with ivermectin, if that's all you know, and that's what you're going to suggest, absolutely fine. And we appreciate the suggestion. You know, we're just looking Absolutely for alter alternative. It, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah alternative but yeah, I mean, that's and... that's where we got fortunate because we learned from Joel Salatin and Greg Judy early on. Mm -hmm. We, you know, before we even got out here and became friends with Billy and Michelle, we were watching their videos, yep. and you know, all of these people kind of showed us a different way to do this before we got into it. So we had a huge advantage in that. <sighs> I was wondering where you were going with that. Yeah. Anyway, 
You do what you will. But anyway, so. Yeah, but not we, get off my soapbox. <laughs> yeah. Well, we, you know, we wanted to bring you along. We were going to show you how, you know, we're going to lasso Dolly. You probably wind up tying her to a tree so we could get the applications on there. We were going to brush it off first, yep. brush off anything loose. Then we were going to get the silver on her. Then we were going to get the comfrey plantain salve. And then we were going to go ahead and, and, and get the baking soda to kind of set it. But thankfully, we don't need to. Yeah. Thank God. Yeah. So. <laughs> So She's doing really well, and we might have a buyer for her coming yeah, this weekend. Yeah, so. that would be amazing because it sounds like they, it sounds like they've had a difficult time finding Dolly, and it'll be perfect. So hopefully yeah. that hopefully that'll work out. She's a good girl, but we just we have too many animals um, on the homestead, and so going down by one cow, uh, a large cow like her will be great. I mean, we've got. We're almost open with the second paddock and we'll bring you along as we do that. Almost the second paddock's open in the woods. And once that's opened up and with this, we're good. If you can stay but... out of the yellow jackets. She got lit up again. I did. 12 stings. It was bad. But I was bad. I was hurting for about three days. Mm -hmm. But Comfrey Plantain Salve guys, excellent, excellent. And then Homegrown Herbalist has a really good histamine formula. Um, so that if you're struggling with allergies, there's a phenomenal histamine formula on uh, homegrownherbalist.net. So yep. highly recommended. Hi, Sumsum. And, Sum. and we, won't, we won't be long and we'll be on Baby Watch. Yep, We're November. looking at November, huh, sweetheart? We don't normally want to have babies. As y'all know, we want to do them in the spring, but because mm -hmm. we were putting cocoa in the freezer, we went ahead and put them in. Um, so she's due beginning of November. So. Hi. Hi, sweetheart. Oh, I'm getting kisses. <laughs> I'm getting on you kisses. Well, you all over your face, darling. Well, mama was in the mineral. Uh, her adopted mama was in the mineral and then started licking her face. <laughs> okay, got it. You're a good girl. She is so soft. She's beautiful. Sirloin is too. Emotional support calf. Yes. So, all right. So, uh, that's what we didn't mean to bring you along for, but that's what we brought you along for. And Hi, pretty girl. like I say, get over to renewedhomestead.com forward slash events. Get registered for our October 5th get together. Uh, seats are limited. It yeah, is absolutely a free. Few, a few days before we're going to have to stop because we'll so, we're going to do potlucks and stuff. So we're going to have to cut it off. So we yep. have a specific number. So, yep. So it's so. coming up quick, but it's uh, the leaves are just starting to change. So you leaf peepers out there. Double opportunity out there. Yeah, come, it's beautiful come, and, here. come and see us and Billy and, and, and hang we're hoping out. a bunch of you are coming that are local too. So we would like to see a bunch of people so we can create community and get to know all of you. That's right. So out of out of state, in state, out of the county, in the county, we'd love to see you there. That's right. The crazier this world gets, the more we need to rely on each other. So yeah. get out here and shake our hands and what is it? Get, shake the babies and kiss the hands. Yeah. No, I thought it was uh, shake babies. That's what I said. Shake oh, the babies and okay. kiss hands. That, the, political, the, the political deal is you shake hands and kiss babies and make, make friendly and, and pretend that you're somebody you're not so you can get elected. Yes. Yeah. yeah. We're not going to go there. We're not going there this time. <laughs> this time. But I'm, I'm, I'm feeling a rant coming on that I might have to let loose on. And then we'll uh. see if she actually lets it go on the, <laughs> the she All is right. The, she is the gatekeeper and we will be going live, in which case she won't have any chance to edit. So yeah. look forward to that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So but didn't mean to didn't mean to get on a soapbox. We were just trying to explain why we do things the way we do. That's right. That's right. You don't know what you don't know, and that's why we're trying to explain what we've learned and, and share that to other people. Mm -hmm. So might have a fox out here. We talked about that. Um, somebody else also saw it. So we're gonna keep things kind of locked down a little bit. And these guys will be fine. A fox is not gonna mess with them, but I'm going to get down there and get the rest of the evening chores together. And yeah. I think we're good. All right. All right. Well, hope uh, hope God's face is smiling on you and, and all is well in your world. And, and thanks for tuning in. Make sure you give us a thumbs up and a like and a subscribe and all that good stuff. And we'll see you all in the next video, everybody. God bless. Bye, y'all. Bye. Make it so.